Kuyuku na marapu wabe. Maho Arms is a game I found out about from a friend. As a curious little gamer that I am, I bought it and played it, even though it was early access. Now on this channel, I'm not opposed to talking about early access games, but I don't want to treat them as a finished product. I just want to talk about it. So we're going to do just that. We're going to talk about what it does well and what we can do to improve on it. So what is Maho Arms? Maho Arms is a magical girl hack and slash dating sim created by Das Chan Media, and it was put on Steam as early access April 28th of 2020. The game currently has two chapters and an extra fighting arena. While the game does have the hack and slash bit, the dating sim part isn't. The gameplay is solid where it's going so far. I don't feel like much has to change here, but there is a mechanic in the game that I want to talk about, Just Dodge. For those that don't know, Just Dodge occurs when you dodge an attack just as it happens. When you do it in this game, you don't get anything for it. But for example, in a game I just talked about, Dusk Diver, you get to slow down time. Now I'm not saying you should be able to slow down time, however, I do think you should be able to get some sort of reward for dodging an attack like that. Maybe an attack buff or something? I'm not sure. Other than that, the game plays fine, and I can't wait to see what other moves you unlock later on. Also, the constant panty shots? Hmm, quality. The next thing I want to talk about are the cutscenes. I love the way it handles its cutscenes. In the game, cutscenes are displayed through panels like a manga. Not only is the style great, but the art is fantastic too. However, I do think some polish is needed as some of the pictures bleed into the other panels. Also, while I think the feature to zoom in on all the panels is great, it doesn't allow you to reach all the parts of the panels sometimes. Though I do think this is a simple fix. The next thing I want to talk about is the in-game text. Simply put, it needs to be more visible. I can't tell what the characters are talking about or the items I pick up. A simple fix for this would be making the text larger, and maybe adding a black text box to help separate the words from everything else in the game. But this would only be for the in-game cutscenes with the dialogue. The last thing I want to talk about is the fact that the game doesn't have a tutorial, and I feel that it needs one. Now, tutorials can range from a simple picture showing what all the buttons do, to a whole level dedicated to you learning the controls. In this current build of the game, they have an extra level called Training Day. I mean, come on, it's written all over it. Why not make this the tutorial? I think it'll work just fine. And that does it for my thoughts on Maho Arms. If I'm still making videos by the time this game is released, which is in 2022, then you could bet your ass I'll make another video on it. If you played this game already, tell me what you think in the comments below. And if you're interested in the game yourself, why not follow the devs on Twitter and maybe buy the game to help support them. And uh, they even have an uncensored version. So if TNA interests you, well, there you go. But anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching this video. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe to this channel. Maybe comment while you're at it. Also, follow me on Twitter for updates on my videos and when I stream on Twitch.